Oke, okay, welcome back. My name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 4.7 from Sadiko book. And the question is, use source transformation to find Ix. So, Ix is the current that pass through this 10 ohm resistor. Okay, let me remind you of the source transformation. So, we can transform a voltage source in series with a resistance into a current source parallel to a resistor. And uh, we can change the value of the current source and the voltage source according to this Ohm law formula. So the voltage is equal to the current multiplied by resistance. Okay, so this, this circuit is actually very simple. If you want, you can do a nodal analysis here in this node and we are done. But we are asked to find this ix using source transformation okay so let me let us see what can we do here so we have this dependent voltage source and this is in series with a resistor so we can change them into a dependent current source and a resistor that is parallel to it okay so now let's calculate the value of the current source so we will have i is equal to v divided by r and v is 2ix so 2ix divided by r r is 5 and that will equal to 0.4ix okay so far so good now let's redraw the circuit so we will have this resistor is parallel to current source. So let's redraw that. That is 5 ohm resistor. It's became parallel. So it is 5 ohm. And then here we have dependent voltage source change into a current source. So we have dependent current source, which the value is 0.4 ix. But remember, the negative negative polarity of the voltage source is here, and the positive is here. So the direction of the current is going is going down. So I will have this voltage here. Okay. So now let's us do let's see what can we do next. So we have two current sorts. We can combine them. Uh, this is 24 and this is 0.4 ix. And so we can combine them. So we have this. This is in milliampere. So let's convert that first into ampere. So I will have 24 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 ampere okay and we want to combine this and this into one so this current is going to the opposite direction so i will have this minus 0 0.4 of ix so i will have that then we can erase this Okay, now we have this current source and 5 ohm resistor and we are asked to find Ix. So I want to use source transformation once again. So I will transform this into voltage source and this into series with it. So what can we do here is, so this is not relevant anymore. Now I will have v is equal to i multiplied by r so i will have that i is 24 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 minus 0.4 i x multiplied by 5 
Okay, so I will leave this as is to make the calculation easy later. So let's do, let's redraw the circuit. So we will have this voltage source in series with 5 ohm and then in series with 10 ohm. Okay, let's redraw the circuit. So I have redrawn the circuit and we can easily calculate Ix here using ohm's law so ix will be this voltage divided by 5 plus 10 so i will have ix is this value here 24 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 minus 0 0.4 ix divided don't forget this is multiplied by 5 and we will have 5 plus 10 here 5 plus 10 5 plus 10 is 15 and we can divide the numerator and denominator by 5 so I will have this cancel to 1 and this cancel into 3 and so we can do a little bit algebra here so I will have 3 i x is equal to 24 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 minus 0.4 I x and then I will have 3.4 I x is equal to 24 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 so I will have I x is okay let's do calculator thing here 24 divided by 3.4 is that's it 0. 7.059 7.059 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 ampere and then so I will have ix is 0. Point, I mean 7.059 milli ampere so that is our final answer Hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation and thank you for watching my videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe and bye bye.